in Aleva Heights, there's a quiet little cemetery that is practically unnoticeable if you don't know where to look for it. But one day, David Lalkani went there to visit the headstone of his mother and noticed that there were cracks in it. Chips of it were coming off, large chips. There was rubbish and other things like bits of graffiti all over the headstone. He couldn't figure out why that was, but he had something important to do. And he removed a note from his pocket, unfolded it, and then began to read it. And it said, Dear Mom, I hate you so much, and yet I love you. I'm terribly conflicted about my feelings because sometimes you were my mother, loving, and sometimes you were my enemy, hateful. But David Lokani takes the note, crumples it up, tosses it at his mother's head, headstone. He hears a voice from behind him, a female voice who says, this woman is your mother. And he turns around to see a young Hapahali girl standing there. He says, yes, why? She says, I come here a lot, just to sit, sing to myself, sometimes play my guitar. But I notice that any time anyone visits your mom's headstone, they never have anything nice to say. And I've seen people try to vandalize it and take a hammer to it, like over there, with all the chips, pieces of concrete missing. It's unfortunate that she's remembered this way. In hearing you read the note that you just read, I feel sorry for you, but wasn't there ever a moment in your life where your mom was your best friend and you absolutely loved her? And David Laukani looked at the stranger and said, when she was drunk, she was wonderful, caring, nurturing, best mom you could ever have. It's when she was sober that she was horrible because she hated herself so much. And in turn, she took it out on me and chased my dad away. All those demons she had, she never talked about it. They only came out when she wasn't drinking. It's unfortunate that my best memories of my mom were when she was drunk. She would make me this thing for breakfast all the time. It was steamed rice with condensed milk and a little bit of powdered sugar on top, and then ripe slices of mango all, all over it was my favorite thing. And this woman, this girl who's a stranger, says, do you have the recipe? Because it sounds like something delicious. And David Lalkani says, I do but I hardly make it. it. Tastes good, but it's just the memories. The girl introduces herself to David as Lady, and David says, that's your name? Your real name? I mean, that's not your hippie name or something? And she says, no, that's my name, the one I was born with. And because I'm Hapahali, I'm Jewish on my Holly side, so my last name is Green. Oh. But the girl says, listen, if you give me the recipe, you can come back to my place. I trust you, and I'll make it for you, if you don't mind. David says, okay. And so they end up at her condo, somewhere in New London. And as she's steaming the rice and preparing the powdered sugar and, you know, getting out the mango, the condensed milk, she says, take a look around if you want. It's a pretty nice place. At least I think so. And she's making it, steaming the rice. And then she says, you haven't got lost, have you? I know it's a pretty big condo, but it can't be that big. No reply. Finally, the rice is steamed, still a bit hot. 
And she's scooping it out, putting it in the little uh, Simon bowl like this. Condensed milk, powdered sugar, slices of mango. She says, David? David, are you still here? She walks out into the living room. She sees a strange woman in an awfully colored long moo moo with white curly hair looking out her window. And she stops dead in her tracks. She says, ma'am, I'm, I'm sorry, but this is my place. How did you get in here? Ma'am? David? David, are you still here, David? And the woman turns around and it's David wearing a white wig, curly hair, long, horrible color. And in a woman's voice, David says to lady, the name is not David, it's Cosette. He removes a knife and begins to stab her again and again and again until she's absolutely dead. Then he begins to cut her up into pieces. The story goes, he stuffed her body in a garbage bag, drove the car to the poly lookout, and deposited all the body parts over that railing. And so sometimes people will tell me strange things, that they will see the apparition of body parts, hands, feet, a head with blonde hair. Could those be the leftover body parts of that young girl named Lady? Dumped there by a man named David Lowcunny, who spent his whole life trying to get close to his mother trying to appease his mother and through some sort of psychosis actually became his mother.